Welcome, in front of me is a Samsung Galaxy A36 and today I will show you how we can go through the setup process of this device. So when you put it up for the first time you'll be presented with this page right over here which cycles through different languages. So let's select start and then find your desired language from the list. Now it already selected a correct one for me, English, so I'm just going to select next and then you can choose uh, to insert our SIM card. This is optional, it's only done to connect to mobile network um, and then if you choose to insert it or ignore it, it doesn't matter. Next page you have uh, for your review, so we have end user license agreement, so you just need to select the first box right here, ignore the two other ones, as these are optional and none, I believe under no circumstances should you ever agree to anything that is optional. Um, so yeah, why would you agree to diagnostic data sharing basically? Do you want your data to be sold off? I personally don't. Anyway, moving on to the next page, we have easy setup with another device. This would be using uh, Samsung's own application. I don't remember how it's exactly called, but it's something share. Let me actually quickly check. Maybe I should be able to find it. It's called Smart Switch, sorry. So it's going to be using Smart Switch, which you can download on any other Android device or even iPhones and move over all your data to your new Samsung. I'm not going to be doing that, so I'm just going to select setup manually. And here we can connect to our Wi-Fi network. Now, if this device is absolutely brand new, straight out of the box, you will not be able to skip connecting to network. I can, because it's already been set up. Now, because I can skip the network, uh, there is going to be a little bit of a difference. Number one, date and time will, will show up throughout the setup process. Because if you se select any kind of network connection, either through SIM card or Wi-Fi, date and time is set automatically by the internet. Now moving on to the next page, we have protect your phone by either adding face recognition, fingerprint or pin pattern or password. Now, that being said, the first two options are biometrics and they will always require to have pin pattern or password set as a physical way of unlocking the device. As biometrics aren't 100% reliable, so in the times where they just fail to unlock your device, uh, you are left with one of those three options. Uh, now, alternatively, you can just not protect your device at all, but that is something that I wouldn't recommend doing as it, your device stores your personal data. So if you lose your phone, anyone can access that. Next, we have Google services like location scanning and sending user and diagnostic data. You can turn all of those off, but let's be honest, it's from Google, so it's not like that's going to change a lot. There is a reason why corpos are in class action lawsuits left and right, and it's not because they are so trustworthy. So I'm just going to go to the next page, completely ignoring that. Next, we have Samsung Services Auto Blocker. Uh, just turn that off right away. Uh, it's a new feature to basically block uh, installing the uh, APKs from that you might download from like browser. If it sounds annoying, it's because it is and serves no other actual purpose. Um, let's see. Do we have anything else? Personalized data. You know, what? this also sounds kind of intrusive and customization services. Anything that just sounds services or data just sounds intrusive. You can read exactly what these are. I never really bother uh, personally, just because it's like a lot of mumbo jumbo for something that I don't even care. Phone will work like a phone for me. So uh, sharing data or doing any of that doesn't really change uh, how I use the device at all. So I don't care but I can go through it. Maybe it has something that you find useful. Next, we have choose your display mode um, or basically choose your theme and we have light and dark mode. So you can choose which one you like more. So like dark, at least that's what I'm going to be choosing. And we're basically done. So let's select home. And we're now on the home screen. So if you found this very helpful, don't forget to hit like, subscribe and thanks for watching.